PSAT and plan training for 2013. We will be giving the test Wednesday, October 16th. Notice that they, there will be no bells that day. Um, we hope to begin the test by 8.35, but soon, the sooner the better. So um, first period will be um, 8 to 8.45, and we'll go all the way through fifth period. At approximately 11.30, we will pick up all of the materials, and hopefully we'll be done, and when the bell rings, um, everyone can go to sixth period. If you received two uh, or a PSAT and plan manual, that is because you have duties for both tests. Bathroom breakers um, receive two because they will probably go in and out of both rooms and so they need to know um, the information for both tests. Um, it is imperative that the reliever know exactly how to continue testing. So make sure before you leave, you tell your reliever where you are in the test. Um, leave your manual in the room. Please, please, please be back on time. Um, if you're listed as the first administrator, make sure you have the correct manual before you begin the test. And um, look, when you first get in the room, um, look for instructional displays that may need to be covered that um, we might have missed. Um, for PSAT, you're looking for reading and math, and plan, you're looking for anything that has to do with English, reading, math, or science. But maps and periodic tables are okay. Okay, as far as the um, PSAT is concerned, this is for 11th graders. Um, before Wednesday, October 16th, make sure that you read your administration manual. Um, go ahead and make sure that the instructional displays are covered. That way, um, we don't have to worry about it on test day. So again, PSAT, you're looking at English, reading, and math. Um, you need to make sure that you have a clock that is visible to all students. Um, you can bring your own stopwatch or use the clock um, that's in the room, and you want to um, time to the second. In room 503, you will have um, whoever's in that room, you'll have three students who are homeschooled. So they will have to complete the demographic information after testing with Ms. Bice. Okay, for PSAT, um, plan to pick up your materials um, as soon as you can. Um, it's by 740, but um, earlier is obviously better. Um, the desks should be approximately four feet apart, so um, when you get to your testing rooms, just check that out. Um, the calculators, the students can use their own, but um, and they don't have to be cleared. We will have some um, provided, and students cannot share, so make sure you watch out for that. Okay, um, before you begin directions for PSAT, um, just remind students that it is not advantageous to guess. Okay, make sure, this is a big one, make sure that you gather um, the cell phones or other electronic devices, just like you would for STAR test. Okay, um, on the board, you are going to um, make sure that you post the date, which is October 16th, the dark time, um, stop time, and the break. Um, students, if they come in late, they can, in, they can join the test as long as you are on section one, um, unless you are on section one or after. Again, please try to start by 835 so we can get finished before six period. Um, Check out these pages for testing problems. If you have any questions, let us know. Okay, this is um, very, very important. Have students write their name on the test booklet and their history teacher. This is how we will um, sort them and um, report the results. So we have to have that information. Um, also, make sure that um, the students because the students have already um, completed demographic information, it should speed things up. And here's pay the certification statement, and make sure students sign and date in the appropriate, appropriate place. Okay, day of the test, after testing, um, as you gather the test materials, again, check for the history teacher's name on their booklet. 
get all the pencils, put them in a bag. If you'd like to sharpen them, that'd be great too. Um, you know, make sure you have all the calculators. We'll come by and, and check your materials, and um, the calculators will be gathered separately by the math department. Okay, plan specific. This is for 10th graders. Um, make sure you read your manual. Um, again, a clock visible to all students. Um, instructional displays. Um, the subjects are English, reading, science, and math. And um, if there's not a clock in your room, please let us know ASAP. So you might want to check the day before when you get your assignments. That way you're, we're not running around that day. So please pick up your test materials by 740 as well. Again, the earlier the better. You want to position students as far apart as possible. And um, with calculators, again, they do not have to be cleared, but there is no sharing. Okay, before you begin directions, you want to have your students place their belongings in a designated area, um, gather cell phones, and um, students need to write their name on a post-it and place it on their phone so that we don't get them mixed up. Okay, guessing on the plan. Um, it is advantageous to answer every question. So um, you might remind them of that. As far as a rest period is concerned, um, stick with five minutes. Um, and you take that break between test two and test three. Okay. Um, if you have any questions about this information, look at your manual or um, come see one of us. All right, like the PSAT, um, students will need to put their name as well as their history teacher's name on the test booklet. Okay, that's very, very important. Um, the first thing you're going to read is the green shaded block on page 23, and then you're going to skip to option 3 on page 33. So note that as well. Um, begin testing by 835, and the sooner the better so we can get out of um, the test before 6 period starts. Okay, the same thing um, after testing with plan as we talked about with PSAT. Again, double check to make sure that the student's name and their history teacher's name is on the top of their test booklet. Um, again, feel free to sharpen any pencils that you gather. That just helps us out. And the calculators will be gathered separately by um, the math department. These next couple of pages um, is what Ms. Adams emailed out as an attachment with the training instructions on Monday. So uh, make sure that you read over, print these, make sure that you read over um, everything in these documents. But I'm going to highlight a couple of things for you just so you know. Um, again, make sure that instructional displays are covered um, and it gives you what PSAT covers and plan covers right here. It also gives you which rooms, which tests will be given in so that you can double check. Um, ninth and 12th graders will be on regular schedule, but you want to see the rerouted um, classroom chart so that you will know if any of those classes are rerouted. 10th grade, again, is taking plan. 11th grade, PSAT, and we may have to adjust time. Hopefully we won't have to if everyone gets started on time. We hope it won't be an issue. Okay, this document um, will explain who is administrating what test in what room during what time. So if you take a look over here, you have your room numbers, which test is being administered in that room, and then um, who is administering the test per period. Um, some things that I want you to do is go ahead and um, when you print this off, highlight your name so you know exactly where you need to be when. Um, in addition, if you see any mistakes, um, something we might have overlooked, please email us as soon as possible so that we don't double book you. Um, some more things to consider. Um, make sure you arrive at wherever 
room you're supposed to be in whatever period um, a little early so that you can um, um, you know take over at the appropriate time you need to know exactly where that the administrator is in the testing session how much time is left um, and e exactly what page they're on and, and all of that stuff so nobody is confused so make sure you communicate with each other in that regard you will have bathroom breakers and so um, again please try to um, get to your room on time so no one's running running behind if you are a bathroom breaker please see miss Adams for a list for each period and you guys are down here also note conference changes down here at the bottom and uh, Macklemore and Brown Okay, the next two um, pages will be the rerouting schedule. Um, you'll notice that you have the normal room and teacher over here, and then um, you have your period, the new room, teacher responsible, and number of students. Um, on the one that you print, um, it will look a little um, neater than this. It was just hard to get it on here. So if you have any questions, um, please let us know. But again, please highlight where you're supposed to be and make sure we didn't double book you or double book rooms or anything like that. If we can take care of those issues prior to that Wednesday, that would make things um, go much smoother. So again, it's two pages. So if you don't see your name on the first page, flip it over. It might be on the back or on the second page. Hopefully everyone understands and had a wonderful time listening to me today. Um, again, please be on time. Make sure the history teacher's name's on the booklets. And um, have fun. Okay, guys, please refer to your email that Ms. Adams sent out um, so that you can log on to my big campus and complete your quiz, which will, in essence, complete your training. Thank you so much.